tribe things happen for you not to you can we change the mindset a little bit please can we change the mindset a little bit yeah i think so too i think it's time to change the mindset i think it's time to acknowledge that things happen for us not to us we are not victims of our life of our realities we are the creators of our realities and if we change our approach to life we see everything as opportunity we see everything as a blessing as a gift as a way to expand as a, as a possibility right for expansion and why people think that things happen to them it's because they live in a victim mindset and also it's because it's a huge disconnection and misalignment from who you truly are which is the creator it's being stuck in the ego you are the creator guys you are a divine expression of source okay so what on earth made you think that things happen to you if you keep believing that things happen to you it will the external reality will keep giving examples of these things right so you better change the way you look at life it's abundance it's full abundance everywhere you go it's abundance your body is abundant you are abundance the nature the buildings everything that is around you is full of abundance do you see it do you see how many opportunities you have every single day to actually enjoy this life and enjoy yourself and expand and grow and create the reality you want do you see that every single day you have an opportunity to do what you love it's not that hard guys it's not that hard to actually realize it but you know it's maybe easier for some to keep blaming things on others and live in a victim mindset it's because you're used to it okay you're maybe used to it that's why it's harder to flip that around and like come back to your creative powers realign with who you truly are okay your body mind and soul consciousness in other words soul awareness presence you have a body you have a mind you are the awareness okay you are the awareness that is here and now always this is your creator source of your creation basically you are the creator create consciously every moment okay take full responsibility for your life and it's actually so empowering it's so empowering to take full responsibility for what you create and what kind of quality you embody every single day it's really empowering take that privilege it's yours take it you are the creator make yourself happy create the life you want realign with your soul get out of the ego stop identifying yourself with the ego you are not your thoughts okay ego meaning thoughts concepts the personality egoic personality the egoic self right the egoic self which is accumulation of old patterns of stories of analyzing everything your childhood experiences okay this is the egoic self in your truth in your essence you are a full presence here and now merging of darkness and light ego is duality i like it i don't like it positive negative feminine masculine 
I should, I shouldn't, past, future. So being stuck in the past or being stuck in the future, okay, is an indication that you're stuck in the ego. You are not the ego. You are the awareness, you are the soul, which is merging of darkness and light. It's here and now, it's now, it's always now. Okay, it's always now. So when you live from your soul, you're above all those things that your mind creates and that's fine, you're aware of it. And then when you have an opinion, you realize that you have an opinion and you're like, yeah, this is my opinion, I created this opinion, okay? Or if you believe in something, you are aware that you are the believer because who is the believer? You have a belief, for example, in your mind, right? You have a belief. But who is the believer? It's you, it's your true essence. It's the awareness that sees the belief, observes their thoughts, observes the body. So you have, if you observe that you have a belief, you realize, ah, oh, oh, I have a belief. You know, I have a belief about something. I believe in that. Or you say a statement or whatever that is, and you say it. And when you live from your egoic self, you're like so attached to it. You, you, you believe you're it. You're like, you... If someone, for example, contradicts this opinion or statement, you can get triggered, you know? But when you live above your egoic self and you realize that you're not your egoic self, you're not the ego, you say something and you realize that you're saying it. You're, you realize that you have a belief, you have an opinion, and that's fine, that's fine. But you have the freedom to create any belief you want, any opinion you want, and you know that you created it. That is the difference. You are aware of yourself fully awakened to the, fact, to the fact that you are the creator, okay? So any limitations that repeat, okay? Maybe you have some limitations around, I don't know, not feeling good enough to create something, something anyway, I don't know, can be relationships, can be money, can be, um, yeah, just uh, not believing in yourself, basically. It can be anything, can be any limitation. That doesn't really happen when you truly live in the present moment. When you truly align with your soul, you're in full abundance. That is it. You live in your truth, from your truth, which is love, which is abundance. You feel free, okay? In this present moment to create anything you want to create no judgment who is judging you 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 only can judge yourself or even if you're scared of other people's judgment which can happen obviously because people usually judge other people because they don't they judge themselves right so they judge other people so it's misalignment misalignment it's not being connected to the source, not being connected to the love that we all are. So if someone judges you, just be compassionate. It's okay. It means they have a lot of judgment towards themselves. So just carry on doing what you do. So whether you just sit and wait for things to happen and block yourself from creating, people will judge you. And even if you start creating, so whether you, you don't create or you create your, the life you want, people will still be able to judge you. So you have to let go of that. Let go of that. It, it can happen anyways, and that's fine. That's fine. Just have a lot of compassion towards people who still live in limitations and misalignment. That's fine. But I want everyone to realign to the love that we are to the freedom that we are, so we can create freely beautiful things and just appreciate it and just be open.
just be open to people, to their creations, to anything that happens in our realities, in our life. Uh, yeah, look what I have double head today. Guys, the intention of this video was, what was the intention of this video? <laughs> Everything, come back to love, realign, realign, stop waiting. Um, but what did I say at the beginning? <laughs> what did I say at the beginning was, uh, I wanted to come back to what I said at the beginning. And there you go, it's gone. It's not important anymore because everything is linked. Everything is linked. And when I speak, I just speak with a flow. That is it. <laughs> that is it, guys. Come back to the power within you. How to do it? You can check in my other videos. Be fully present. That's the best way of doing it. Fully present with yourself. Okay? Fully, fully present with yourself and taking, making decisions that actually are beneficial for you. Beneficial for you. Taking care of your body, understanding the power of your mind and realizing that you are not the mind, that you are the soul, the consciousness, okay? Observing your life, just observing this beautiful journey. Cool guys, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you, I love you. Yes, thank you. Thank you tribe, thank you, you're amazing. You're like the best tribe, best tribe ever. Mwah!